and fitness Instagram model. And by the way, I went in on the fitness models on Instagram. Y'all go check my Instagram post out. I'm sick and tired of you struggle Instagram model. No, not Instagram model, excuse me. You struggle fitness trainer models. All you people talking about getting fit. You're, you're, you're out here struggling. You're out here. You're, you're not getting anywhere. You know, you're, you're following like 50,000 people. And you, you know, and, and you think that you have a following because you have maybe eight, seven, ten thousand 10,000 people following you, but you're not growing. And I had to go in on you. You help us. Some of you males too, because you're out here and you're not going anywhere, but then you think you're celebrities. No, you're not. You're trying to make it. You're still working a regular job, maybe, or you got an only fans that's doing worse. Okay. And you think you're a celebrity, you're not. You're not a celebrity. You're a wannabe. Okay? You you you're basically getting drowned out by these women who are going to get them BBLs and they're coming back and they're trying to be fitness models. When really they have work done and that you never see them in the gym. How are you a fitness trainer and you're not training anybody? You're not training anybody. And let me say something about I know I'm all over the place, but y'all know I ain't been live. I ain't went live in a little while. So y'all got to give me a moment. I got a lot of stuff I want to speak on. But you got these women going and getting these BBLs. And they look horrible because they're all trying to compete with each other. They're all trying to see who can get the biggest butt. That's that's your that's your that's your westernized woman in 2021. She's so concerned with trying to see if she can get a bigger butt than the next Instagram model who has more of a following than her. So she goes and tries to copy what her doctor did, because most of these top fit Instagram models all have fake. They all fake. Not not all, but most of them are fake. You can tell they all went to the same doctors. And you could just tell that they're all getting to work. They got that tattoo on their stomach. Whenever you see a, one of these chicks with a big old like tattoo on the bottom of their stomach, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. That is a BBL mark. Okay. <laughs> That's a BBL tattoo. That's what's going on out here, man. And and listen, this is who we this this is who we choosing. <laughs> this is what we have to choose from. This is who we really choosing. We choosing half us that are so obsessed with trying to look like other women because they think it's going to make them more money because these women have given have been given every advantage in our society and they still don't utilize it. Where are all the real natural women at? Y'all are getting drowned out of the market by these fake BBL tattoo having helpers who can't keep a man. Have y'all noticed most of these chicks with the fake bodies, they're side chicks. Okay. They're jump offs. You know, they have a bunch of sugar daddies. They don't have a man. They don't have, they're trying to get flued out to Dubai. That's their main goal. And they don't care. And they don't care how that looks. As long as they're able to utilize all that surgery to get them a free trip to Dubai or one of these other countries. Where are the natural women out here to say enough is enough? We need the movement of natural bodied women. We need to start that movement. We need to make these bad built, body shop built <laughs> doctors, BBL, BBL getting helpers. We need to drown them out. Okay. Where are the natural women at? We need that movement. We need a movement of natural women out here because these. Cause you, these women with these balloon looking, but the, butt they look fake, even though you see them right here in the thong, it still looks like that has to be fake. Is she wearing some type of, you know, a uh, suit? No, that's her. That's her. And then she thinks it looks good. And what's, and the sad thing is you have these women, hold on, let me show you. You got women like this that are going to go back and get more surgery. They're going to go back and get more surgery. That's, that's the mental illness. They're all trying to compete with each other and they're still losing because a lot of them don't have a man. They don't have a man. And I know people are going to say, well, you know what, Jay, 
Y'all like those type of women. No, we like to look at those type of women when we see them on Instagram. But in real life, who's real? When you see them and they're not taking their photos and they're not, you know, in their leggings, right? At the gym, pretending to work out. When you see them up close and per up close, you're going to be like, she looks weird. Who's going to be trying to holler at that? Who's going to be trying to holler at that? And let me tell you something right now. Most men, for the most part, see natural bodied women every day. The only time you don't really see that is on social media. And that's by design because they want to screw up the minds of your everyday woman. That's what they want. They want you. They want your average everyday woman to want to surgically enhance herself because it makes them more money, right? There's a whole industry for that. Yeah, it did used to be implants, and now it's the BBL. It's the you know, the fat transfer. You got women making videos bragging about how good their fat transfer look, but they still have a double chin. You still look the same way physically if I didn't see your hips and your assets. You still look the same. So it's like most of us, when, we, when we're out and about, we see regular women. Now, if you're living in a Miami or in L.A. or New York or Houston, it might be a different story. But for the most part, a lot of us see, you know, your average everyday woman. And, you know, on social media, we see these women with these, with these big old butts and it just doesn't fit their bodies. But that's the main thing. You're only seeing that really on social media like that. You're not really seeing that in real life. We all know this. How many of us have dated a woman with, with fake butt and fake tits? Maybe a fake tits. I know I know fake. You might see more fake breasts than you will see fake assets. We all know this. Shout out to Robert with the super chat. Many of them have a male in their lives, but not a male. Oh, of course they have a male. They have they have a do boy. They got a babysitter. They got the photographer. Uh, that's his job. Meanwhile, she's trying to get on by dealing with other men with money. And a lot of people got to understand these women have mental illnesses and it's, it's going completely undiagnosed. Let's look at some of these comments. Double, I want to know who the who the F been hitting that whose girl is this? Ain't nothing like a natural body. Hold up. This what y'all like. No, this is what we like to look at. But for the most part, ain't no guy chasing after no chick with no fake butt. Unless he's an NBA player that's not really out and about like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he's dating women off social media anyway. Most of us don't date women off social media. I say most of us. Some of y'all are. All right. Make sure y'all like the stream too, man. Uh, let's see. See back in the days, she's just bought the clinic out. Hold up. She tried to make her thighs match. Men say that and then make nasty comments about natural bodies. Who's making that comments about that? Now I will say this though. There are women who body wise, if they, look more masculine and feminine like they don't have a chest or like they're gonna get they might be made fun of here or there but i think it depends on how that woman carries herself like you can't be a woman that's that doesn't have the curves right and you out here dressing like dudes i mean you're going to stand out men say that and oh i already read that are you thinking about let's see that's a man the doctor killed a horse and glued it to her back all i see is old girl pissing at you uh let's see at least she won't drown <laughs> got some good floating ladies this a whole man this ish is sick bugs life she got stung by a huge wasp don't nothing look good about this she's a bodybuilder and the thing is, you're a bodybuilder, but you are spending a lot of money to get fake assets. What's going on here? Agree. Stop. Who's her surgeon? Dr. SpongeBob SquarePants. Then she think that that is really cute and it look hard as 
F. What? What the fuck is the legs for me? She says she wanted the South American butt lift. Brazilian wasn't enough. I mean, you know, people see what I see. We all see this. This is why I want you women to stop going and getting that work done because it's only going to make you look bad. You have to go through months of therapy after you get the work done. Then you have to do follow ups, right? Some women can't even sit down for weeks at a time, sometimes even months. They can't sit down. So if they do have a boyfriend, he can't even hit that. Okay, your, your girl done went and got a whole big old fake butt and you can't even hit that. Because she has to get the swelling down. She has to go through therapy. So what was the point? What was the point? 